Welcome to my basic mechanical engineering playlist. Today I am going to explain types of steam. So basically there are three types of the steam. For saturated steam that is also known as dry saturated steam. And then second one unsaturated steam that is also called as the wet steam. And at last superheated steam. And we are going to discuss these three types of the steam one by one with the help of this temperature versus enthalpy diagram of the steam formation at constant pressure. I have taken the constant pressure as one bar. So let's see the first one saturated steam. A steam at the saturation temperature corresponding to a given pressure. So very simple as steam at the saturation temperature corresponding to a given pressure. Here it is the one bar pressure and so that the saturation temperature is 100 degree Celsius. So saturated steam that means the steam having saturation temperature and having no water molecules in it. So very important point for the dry saturated steam there is no any water molecules. And so that the dryness fraction of the saturated steam is always 1. And that is denoted by small x. So you can say for the dry saturated steam or for the saturated steam, the dryness fraction is always 1. And in this figure you can see exactly at the point E, the steam is dry saturated steam. Or you can say saturated steam. Because exactly at point D, the evaporation starts. So gradually the water molecules starts to convert from the liquid to gaseous phase. And exactly at E point it is completely converted into gaseous phase. And so that at E point there is no any water particles. And so that exactly at E point we can say there is a dry saturated steam. Now the next one unsaturated steam that is also known as wet steam. A steam having both water molecules and steam. So the steam having a mixture of liquid as well as gaseous phase. And here in this figure you can see from the point D to E there is a mixture of liquid and gas and so that you can say from D to E there is a wet steam. They coexist to form a two phase mixture. Here you can see it is a two phase mixture means it is a mixture of liquid and gas. And the dryness fraction of the wet steam is always less than one because the wet steam having some water molecules. And here also you can understand if I can say at the midpoint of D to E the dryness fraction is equal to 0.5 and if it is near to D then dryness fraction is less than 0.5 and if it is near to E then dryness fraction is greater than 0.5. Now next third one superheated steam and in this figure you can see the EF is called as a superheating process and so that beyond the point E there is a superheated steam. So when a dry saturated steam is heated further at constant pressure its temperature rises beyond its saturation temperature. The steam in this state is known as superheated steam. Here you can see in the superheated zone it is completely gaseous phase that means there is no any water molecules and so that the dryness fraction of the superheated steam is always equal to 1. So put your valuable feedback in the comment box for motivating me to make more videos. Thanks my dear friends for watching this video.